All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Amma Warren from Jacksonville, Florida, coming from the Lions Den of Yasha Allah's camp. Uh, and, and also coming at you guys with another lesson. You know, hope it's edified to the Akim, to the Akwafim, and to the children also. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises and glory to the Father and the Son in their holy proper names. Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Hara Kwa Kodash Ma'amaf. And I want to do a double honors to the apostles and the elders of, of GMS. In citation to the argument that's pushing this truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth continually, all right, through thick and thin. And um, the lesson I was going into today is basically um, like declining from the earth or declining from the ways of this earth and inclining with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah through the Spirit, all right, either through wisdom and knowledge and understanding or just with, through, with the Spirit, you know, you know, and also just inclining with the love of, you know, the brotherhood, you know, through the spirit. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it. The first scripture I'm going to go ahead and get into. The first scripture I'm going to go ahead and get into is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17. It says, This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. All right, kind. So when you come into the, the realization of who you are, when you come into the, the, the true knowledge and wisdom and understanding, all right, through, the, through, through your power, your Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, all right, then you come into the realization that you're not supposed to be walking as like others walk. You know, it's, it's supposed to be holy and set apart, all right. In the scriptures, it says not, not to walk as other Gentiles walk, all right. And, and who are the other Gentiles? All right, this is the, the Gentiles are, are pertaining to the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that doesn't know who they are. All right, so yes, these Gentiles are Israelites. All right, but it, but these are Israelites that doesn't know they are Israelites, like our people are in today's society in, in, in this land here in America, aka Babylon. All right, our people are calling themselves Africans or black. And we're not black, we're not Africans, we are Israelites. Hebrew read that. Right? But it says, therefore, testify in the Lord. And it says, not walk as other Gentiles walk in the, in the vanities of their mind. So, kind. So, we're not supposed to be leaning onto our own understanding. All right? We're supposed to be uh, acknowledging Yahweh and Yahweh Shai with, with, all the, with all the decisions that we make in the course of this life. All right? Praying, pray, praying to them day in and day out, continually. All right. Verse, verse eighteen. It says, "Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of Yahweh, through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart." All right. So, I, with our people, majority of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, two thirds of our people are ignorant. All right. When it comes to to this truth when it comes to the word of, of, of Yahweh. All right. They, they like um, following out the vain traditions. All right. Traditions that we, we was taught when we was younger by our parents and our forefathers. All right. I won't even say our forefathers, but we was taught from our parents in that, in that time period of, of not knowing the truth. People are, are, are clinging to these ways of life, man. Which is not of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Alright. And that's having them that's having that understanding being darkened because they don't know who their true power is. They 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 just going off from what they from what they was taught. Which is a lie. Alright. It says it says having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of Yahweh. So we, so our people have been have been uh in a in a Gentile in a Gentile mindset, you know, throughout the course of these years, man. From slavery, man, you know, and 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 all and all of this is is, is, a, is a curse because you know, our people will have forsaken the Most High, you know, plenty plenty and multiple times, and right now we just in a in a time period of 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 us getting a whooping. All right, we're being punished and also being uh, brought up to being back in righteousness of where we need to be. All right. So it says, through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, man. All right? So our people are ignorant when it comes to 
how they're supposed to be worshiping your Yahweh and your Yahweh Shah in truth and sincerity. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. This, this is our Proverbs chapter 24, verse 1. It says, Be not be not thou envious against evil men, neither their neither desire to be with them. For their heart the study of destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Alright. So with that being said, it says, Be be thou not envious, alright, to be with evil men. To be with evil men is in regards to our people, alright, or even the heathen, or even the Esau, which is which he which he is considered heathen, alright? So we're not supposed to be envying the oppressors. We're not supposed to be envying, envying the evil person, man. All right, because their, their heart is not is not set aright on righteousness. All right, their, their their hearts and their minds is on destruction. All right, and if you follow and you if you following after the ways of these people, all right, desiring to be with them, you're 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 you're, you're going down a path of destruction. You're going down a path of trouble, all right, because it says that the word mischief is is trouble, all right. If you look up mischief, mischief means trouble. So if you're if you're uh, seeking mischief, you're gonna find it, all right. And if you're following after the ways of, of men, all right, you're gonna follow after the destruction of men also, all right. Let me go. To All right, this is Proverbs chapter 7, verse 24. It says, Hearken unto me, now therefore, O ye children. All right. And it's speaking, of, it's speaking to the children of Israel. This book, this Bible, is only for the children of Israel. All right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So it says, It says, Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thy heart decline to her ways, Go not astray in her paths. All right. So, when you come into the realization of who you are, when you come into this truth, all right. When you call on the Father and the Son in their holy proper names, all right. All right. You're hearkening to the to the words of of, of truth, and also the, the words from the from the prophets. All right. It's but the Most High says to not to not refrain or decline. All right. So don't go astray. Don't don't. Understanding, all right. Don't decline from the ways of of, of 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 righteousness, man. Because this 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 book, this book is our comforter, and also it's, it's our uh our way to know who our true power who our true powers is, man. All right. This is gonna give us life. It's gonna give you know help to our bones, you know to to our spirit, man. But it says, "Let let not thy heart decline to her ways, man. Go, go not astray in her paths, man. All right. So we have to keep we have to keep on that straight gate pathway. All right. Not going to the left, not going to the right, but going on that narrow that narrow pathway to 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 to, to, to righteousness, man. To Yahweh and to Yahweh Shah. That's what we should be going to. All right. All right, Babaka Shah. All right." So this is Proverbs. This is Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse verse twenty-two. All right, it says, "Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that have it." Con, but the instruction of fools is folly. So con, so if, when you have understanding of, of of the knowledge and wisdom, and under, you know, with the knowledge and wisdom, all right, it's 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 like it's like uh, it's it's basically like you breathing in um, uh, life, man. It's like it's like you you know you 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 uh, inhaling life, man. When you when you when you're able to understand the the precepts, the breakdowns in the scriptures, all right, taught by the prophets, by 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 elders and the apostles, all right, your mind is 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 awoken to to understanding, man. You know, it's like you you're able to. You you you're joyful when you, you when you truly understand what that scripture is meaning. You know what I'm saying. But it says, understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that have it. But the instruction of fools is folly. So fools hate hate knowledge. Fools despise knowledge. All right. 
in instruction, all right, in discipline, all right. So you're a fool if you if you decline from these words, man. You're a fool if you if you despise the words of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Verse twenty three says, "The heart of the wise teaches his mouth, and add of learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones." Con so. Like 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 I was saying, these these scriptures are 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 health to our spirit and our and our uh, our bodies, man. All right, and then when we when we when we search the scriptures, because the scriptures tells you to to study study to show thyself approved. All right, so when we when we study and to show ourselves approved, we we are adding, we are adding, you know what I'm saying? We are adding to our lips, man. We are adding to our spirits. All right. From these teachings and from these lessons that we that we that we search out, you know, day in and day out. All right, verse twenty five. It says, "There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end, of the, but the end thereof are the ways of." If you're leaning onto your own understanding, all right, you're looking. At this situation seems right, all right. But when you go out the, when you go on, and go go on that route, you, you see that you know it's it's nothing but trouble, you know, going on that route because you did it you didn't you know properly, right, in a righteous manner, in a wise manner. But it says there is a way that seems right unto man, but the, the end thereof are the ways of death. So you know, if you lean onto your own understanding and, and, and following after that, following following after mischief, all right, you're gonna find yourself. On that pathway to, to, to death, man.